Friends and colleagues, again, one man's point of view, but here are a few things you should not do on LinkedIn, or for that matter, any other professional network, right? One, if you request to follow or connect with someone and they accept your request because they themselves are looking to learn and grow their network and so forth, don't start spamming them immediately, okay? Don't start with, I'll be in your area next week because I know you're not. Let's get on a call today or tomorrow. Uh, I don't have time for that. Stop selling and pitching me your product and service the moment I said accept, right? Or yes, or whatever the button says. So build some relationships. Listen and learn. Contribute. Create content. Provide value to people in your network. Don't just start pitching. And if they say no, thank you, not interested, not available, no funding, accept that and move on. Don't spam people. All right, that's number one. Number two, don't endorse those you don't know. Everybody wants to be recognized for the quality of work, of performance that they contribute. But how could you endorse me for technology or leadership or negotiating abilities or higher education experience or something fifth? If you and I have never, ever been in the same room. So think about that. Your endorsement of somebody, whether it's actually writing an endorsement and recommendation or clicking, I, you know, endorse them for X or Y should carry some weight, should be spent on people or invested in people who you actually truly know you have worked with and you believe they're great at, at, at those things. They're great at what they do. So don't just do it um, because that, um, to me at least, speaks volumes about your credibility and your standards. And three, let's not, I know social networks evolve over years and things change and the rules get loosened up a bit. Let's do our best not to post pictures of food and pictures of personal items or pictures of, I don't know, you and your best friend with a beer on the beach from last summer. It's a professional network. You're trying to connect, build, contribute, learn, maybe get hired, maybe get a speaking gig or an engagement, maybe whatever, but it's normally focused, LinkedIn in particular, and this can apply to many others because everything you post online stays forever. So think about the long game and your impact, but focus on providing value to your network, to people in your roles, to people who aspire to become um, someone who's in a role that you occupy today. Network and aspire, and, and network and connect with those you aspire to be like in five, seven, ten years, and provide value to the whole industry. Don't just post pictures of things that um, just shouldn't be there, right? Three high-level things that um, I experience on a daily basis. Don't spam people. Don't endorse those you don't know. And think about what you're posting on a network, on a platform that is meant to be more professional. And I don't mean you need to be buttoned up and with a tie every day. Um, but there are certain things that perhaps should not be on your professional profile as you represent a company or organization and perhaps are looking to join another one. Have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think about what I just said. And if this is the first video you see, please consider sharing it with your friends and colleagues and subscribing below. Have a great day.